Today we're underneath a little paint uh, yearling filly, Izzy, and she is a. Is it she right? Let me she. make sure I get. Oh, he. She. She. Okay, make sure I get that right. Um, she is got a very, very significant club foot on her right front, as you can see in the video. I just trimmed her left front. Very nice looking left front foot, but her right, she has some uh, some trouble in the show ring. Um, you can see how far she set that foot back. Um, I don't want to put shoes on her to, I need to lift that right front foot and I'm, I don't want to put shoes on her because she's just so small and I don't want to be out here reset shoes every two or three weeks and run the risk of running a hot nail in her. So what we're going to do today is I'm going to build a foot out of super fast on top of this existing foot. We're going to make the foot a little bit bigger and rounder, um, add some, some size to the foot and as well as some depth. That way it'll look nice in the show ring and add the length we need so she squares up better. Um, and hopefully help her with her uh, problem in the long run. So we'll get started on the other foot. We're done. <laughs> okay, we've got a foot built on Izzy now. You can kind of see here, move the stand. Now she has two feet that are similar in size. Before the club foot on her right here, the white foot was much smaller in size, very tall. We took off all kinds of heel and then built back toe and heel with synthetic, you know, using uh, Vettec Superfast. Um, we also added, instead of just putting a rim on the bottom of the foot, which won't stay there very long. Um, we built it all the way up the hoof wall side to add some strength and integrity to the hoof because she's thin and also to act as a cup to keep that shoe on the foot. Um, I'll give you a little better view. And now it looks nice. So, you know, she'd behave, it'd look even nicer. There we go. Now the last thing I'm gonna do for this horse the reason we're adding length to the foot is we're trying to add a, add a lift. Well, she should, she's going to be shown in soft footing, and just simply adding a rim of super fast on the bottom of the foot um, is fine, but the foot can sink in that soft footing. So what we're going to do, for one reason, is we're going to fill the bottom of this foot. We're going to fill it with Equipack completely as a pad not just not to protect her foot but to act the paddle act as flotation to keep this foot from sinking in the ground so just that little eighth of an inch and also as a it'll also help to secure the super fast as a cup um so the, the sand doesn't rip out the edges of the super fast i want it to be nice and flat and i want the shoe to stay on her foot for as long as possible the super fast it is see i can still flex it her foot will grow um, normally with the super fast on there it's not going to really inhibit her her uh, hoof capsule growth or movement at all. It acts just like hoof wall. So I'll go ahead in here and brush her out. Put a foam board on there. Oh wow, I'm gonna get away. Let that kick for a second. Easy big girl. We can also, what we're doing too, this, this pad will help keep some action on her frog and keep her heels from contracting, which good feet tend to do. Down. I'm gonna let that foot set for 10 minutes so I can peel the board off and we'll be done. 